Greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I am really excited because we are at a new store today that I have never been to. And I think it recently just opened and it's kind of been a little bit viral on TikTok. And I'm really excited to finally be here. So I am at the store called Yard Sale. Um, I'm going to have their info linked down below if you guys want to check it out. And I have never been here. I'm really excited. But first of all, if you guys love thrifting videos, thrift hauls, vlogs, home decor, and all that fun stuff, do not forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian. Just like it's spelled here, check out my shop. It's Hadrian.com to see whatever sale from my thrifting adventures. Um, also, the live sales are Friday and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I do a giveaway every single night of those sales as well. So come and join; it's super duper fun. Um, but oh, I also have a bunch of donations in the back. I was gonna donate it to another th uh, another thrift store, but if they accept donations here, I guess I'll drop them off here. So let's go inside and check it out. Here's what the store looks like from the outside. Let's go inside and check it out. Let's go in. Gonna grab a card already, cause you know this place is massive. All right, we're looking at the handbags. It's like a fake Celine. It's like kind of cute, but I think it's just pleather. Tommy Hilfiger. They have a ton of hats. Gosh, this place is literally so huge. I don't even know where to go. They have like this decorative art tiles. Interesting. Look at a little monkey. We are at the Amvet thrift store, which I'm really excited to take you guys into the store. I'll see you guys in there. Here we are. Alright, I'm looking through the There's that thing over there. I found a Tumi wallet. There are these Gucci loafers, but they're 200 bucks. Hey guys, so pretty much all I got at that store was this wallet. But I mean, this Tumi wallet is fantastic, so I'm pretty excited. I think it's the men's, um, it's like a pocket organizer, I think it's what it's called. But so I got that. I just got to another thrift store just a little down from um this from the other thrift store and this one is called value village i don't know if it's like the same value village that's associated with with um savers but let's go inside and check it out all right they just had two coach bags back there that i have on hold and i'm just gonna look around and see if i can find anything else okay so i'm slightly obsessed with this store i really like it i don't know i just love the vibe of it it's really fun the people that work here are super duper nice you guys gonna come and check it out if you guys are ever here. I'm gonna have the info for the store down below and if I forget, someone remind me. Um, but it's awesome. I love this little display of all the crystal stuff. It's so cute. Some Kate Spade sandals. I think pink tags are half off. This is only 10 bucks. Hmm, these are all maybe. They're a size nine to 10. All sorts of furniture too. Let's take a look, see if we can find anything cool. You guys, look at this painting. Someone, it's huge. Like, this is my hand. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I just got to another Goodwill. I'm really, well, our first Goodwill of the day. But that, um, that little thrift store that we just came from i love that store it's so cute and people are so nice but i'll show you guys what i got when we get home but let's check out this store and this is my first time here i've never been here before so i'm very excited i'm in the case 
There's a couple of Michael Kors wallets up there that are interesting, so I'm gonna look at those. All right, let's look at the handbags. See if there's anything interesting. Four twenty one. This one is leather. Uh, American Eagle Outfitters. Oh. I think someone made this bag themselves. It's kind of cool though. The leather is really soft and nice. This like yellow bag made by DWC. By the oh, this is so cool. It kind of looks a little like um, what is that called? Like a little Balenciaga-ish. There's this Michael Kors for twenty-five. It's missing the crossbody strap though, but it's like a nice gold leather. Got some mirrors, artwork. Oh, that's what we have over here. This is literally the cutest little pot. Oh my gosh. Flamingos, so cute. Hey guys, we just got to Orange County again, so we're back in Anaheim. I just dropped off all of the stuff at the back donation center, and now we're heading over to the regular store. Um, but I guess it's gonna be like a long 15 video, because I think I'm just gonna include everything, or like everywhere that we went today, in this video, and then I think I'll do a haul at the end. But anyway, I'll see you guys at the store. But this is the Goodwill in Anaheim. This is the one off of Euclid. Alright, I'm just looking through... The handbags. See if there's anything interesting. I was literally just here yesterday, but you can go to the same store every single day and you'll always find some new stuff. So let's see what we can find today. I think this is, um, I've seen this one before. This one's a Zara. This is one is a B. Mikowski, but it's like slightly discolored, but not the worst. Oh, there's a hole in the back of it. Okay, we're not gonna do that one. This little jewelry box is kind of pretty. Ooh, this looks anthropology-esque. $2.99. I don't know if it's cracked though. Is that cracked? <gasps> it is anthropology and it is cracked. What a bummer. Is it really cracked? Hold on, let me see. Can we feel it? Oh yeah, you can feel the ridge. Sad. These are really pretty. They're like little feathers. Oh, these are Lennox. Oh, they're 10 bucks. Kind of expensive, but they're really pretty. All right, I'm looking for maybe some more of those. Anthropology plates. Because they may be hiding somewhere here. Oh, I think they have, these are the, these Lennox pieces, yeah. This is part of that Lennox collection. Oh, these are pretty. I like that there's like the yellow inside. It's like a fish or a pineapple, but I think this is also Lennox. I like the little seashell. Oh, this is pretty. Gorgeous. Yeah, like these are all from the same collection. I really like these bowls. They're Crate and Barrel. I have um, a set of bowls from Crate and Barrel that are, I think, from the same collection, but they're the blue ones. Because they look just like this on the inside. I wonder if they have matching plates. But they have three bowls. I really, really like them. Are those gorgeous or what? There's a third one right here. Let's see if we can find the plates. Do you think we'll find any of the plates? Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, my recipe. 
those bowls. Oh, these Mikasa plates are kind of nice. Are these on sale? No, when I do that. Are these also Mikasa underneath? Oh no, they're not. So there's just three. I'm looking for a set of Mikasa plates for my aunt. Uh, this is already chipped, I can tell from the top, so I don't even want to look at it. <gasps> Wait, there's more bowls. Ooh, hold on. That's a set of five. Okay, five bowls so far. Where are the plates? And I found some more of these Lennox pieces too. These are really pretty. But I really want to find those plates. I found this really pretty, um, I forgot what this is called, but um, like decanter thing. Um, it's Gorham Crystal. And I think it's $10, $9.99. Mom uses these as um, like containers for she makes homemade what is it called um, vanilla so it's gonna be perfect for that. <laughs> I'm over here looking at the other kitchen cookware, bakeware stuff. Last time I was here, I found a um, our place pan, which was amazing. Oh, are these flowers? Ooh, look how cute these are. Mom already has these though, so I'm not gonna get them, but love those. I love looking at the bakeware for those kinds of things because mom loves to collect them. And they're also really great gifts, especially if you know any people that like to bake a lot. And that is definitely mom, who actually baked a cake this morning, which I am really excited to eat later. Just like a little bite though, because I want to diet, but you can still partake, just, you know in very small portions there's another decanter but it's like iridescent it's kind of pretty hey guys okay so we are back at the house after a long day of thrifting and it was really fun i like most of the stores i went to today i went to for the first time and it's always fun exploring new places and seeing what you can find and i have a haul for you guys to show you guys what i ended up getting so um in no particular order like i don't remember <laughs> <laughs> the order they got these things from anymore, but um, I got this one at that like Something vet thrift store and this is a to me wallet It's a I believe it's a men's like pocket organizer. It's really cute This will fit your phone inside in that front pocket. I think it will fit like I don't know if it'll fit my phone with the case on but let me actually pop it off and see because I am Curious to know what size phone this guy will fit. Oh no, my phone fits in there perfectly. So it does fit inside. I have the iPhone 13, like Mac Pro size or whatever. So it's the biggest iPhone. It fits without the case. And I have like, okay, let's actually see if it fits my actual case. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna fit with my pop socket thing on. So I'll take that guy off and see oh look at that it still fits okay so with the case it does fit i have the apple clear case so that's very exciting news okay that's cool let's pop that pop socket back on okay p.s like the magsafe pop socket is literally one of the best inventions Ever. It is so handy. I am obsessed. I, I don't know how I ever lived without it. But here is the inside of the wallet. I really like the inside. It's like a beautiful golden tan color with the green. And I love that like it's not like an actual print but it's like embossed. And it's kind of like a camouflage. So like the inside is the green and then the gold brown and then the outside is in black uh, it's very cool like I love like that pop when you open it so this is a really cool piece I love it or even if you don't want like if your phone is too bulky or it has the pop socket you literally can just stick it inside of here and like still zip it, zip it up very easily so I feel like this just needs like a bit of a cleaning and conditioning on the outside and then maybe just a little bit of a touch-up dye job but the inside just needs a cleaning and a conditioning, and I think it'll be good to go. There are a couple little pen marks in there, but nothing too crazy. So that's the first thing. Um, then, 
Oh, I got this one from that other store. Um, what was it called? Oh, from Value Village. And this one I got for, it was $1.91, but it was half off, so it was only a dollar. And it's a, like a case for um, your GoPro gear and everything like that. So I was like, it's a dollar, I might as well pick it up. Um, if I don't end up selling it, like probably use it for something else. The case is really nice and sturdy and it's literally brand new and it was only a dollar. So um, I'll see what we can do with this. Maybe I'll just see if anyone's interested in buying it. Otherwise, I don't know. If I, I, I've also been thinking about getting a GoPro for something. So if I do end up getting one, like this would be a good carrying case, especially during traveling. So yeah, got that guy, a dollar, love it. Um, then, oh, you know what's really cool? I ended up getting or finding this at a store and it looks like, I found one of these before in the past. I forgot, what was it like green? But I don't know, these have just been popping up. It kind of looks like a Bottega Veneta bag and it's in nylon. I think they actually make a bag like this, the Bottega Veneta cassette in nylon, which I would love to get my hands on if I could ever find one, but like it doesn't have any markings or anything um, on the bag, but it's just like a nylon and it's really nice. And it's super fun. I mean, you can just like wear it like that. Like I think it's like a cool, bag and it's super soft I love it and then to top it off I found this other one there as well and this one also doesn't have like any markings or anything inside but this one is instead of like woven it's just quilted and I picked this up as well because I thought it was like really cute and this is like another like great little cassette style bag it's a little smaller more streamlined as well but both really cool and really fun so got these guys pretty excited about them okay then i did also pick up some um uh, dooney and burke wallet and this one is a vintage made in usa little wallet it's like black with a brown trim. I love that there's like a little kiss lock change pouch in the back. And then here is the main portion of the wallet. It's beautiful. The part where the clear ID thing is though was taken out. But um, I think the wallet was like two bucks or something. So I was like, we'll take a chance on it. Maybe even if I do this as like a giveaway, it would be kind of cool. Or um, it could be like a, like a, item that you could practice like doing your handbag rehabs on. So I got that guy. And then I also picked this guy up as well, which I think is also a Dooney and Burke. Um, I don't know if it like came with something else, but this is a little Dooney and Burke uh, pouch. So it's, it's like super, like it matches with this. I might do like a two, two for one special maybe but it's just like a little makeup pouch or whatever. Um, this one was $2. It just has a little pocket right inside and then that's just what the interior looks like. But it's in great shape. So, got those two Dooney and Burke pieces. Then what's cool is I found this um, fossil wallet and I've actually thrifted this wallet before, I think. Maybe like a while ago. Might have been like a couple years ago. But this is a fossil wallet. It's kind of like in a greenish brown color. And it's super cute. It has this um, little key zipper pull right at the top right here. It's like a change pocket. And then this opens up like this. Card slots all throughout. Another zipper pocket. And then money pocket. And it's just a great little wallet. The leather is super duper soft. The leather kind of reminds me of Balenciaga. And there's also this great front pocket right here as well. And this guy was $3. So 
have that right inside of there. But yeah, it's a great little wallet. It's really cute. It holds a ton. Then I got this vase. This one I got from, um, from a Goodwill. And this one was $12.99. Um, I think this one was from, oh, I got this one from where? Um, it's beautiful. Really, really pretty. It's a Marquee by Waterford vase. And I just love it. I love Marquee by Waterford. I love Waterford in general. And it also does have a little um, engraving too on the bottom with a little etching. And I think this was from flowers.com. Yeah, it was from flowers.com. <laughs> I didn't know the flowers that you can like pick the option of like a Waterford crystal vase. I feel like that's super cool that you could do that. Anyway, we'll just leave that right there. $12.99 for this guy. Beautiful. I have been on the hunt for crystal and I, I think I told you guys earlier in the video that I want to propagate a lot of my plants uh, this spring and to doing so I want to like put them all in crystal vases. I don't know if it's like a weird bougie thing that I want to do but I want to find all the vases and stuff at the thrift. Um, I'm going to try and find as much crystal as I can. I do have like some glass pieces already but I did give a lot of my old like vases that I've thrifted in the past away already so I don't have as much as I used to. Um, so I've been like slowly building, rebuilding my little collection and yeah, because I think like um, I have a lot of like aunts and like fa friends, family friends and stuff that um, love plants as well and I've given them quite a few already before but I feel like um, it'll be really cool this year because I'm going to propagate some plants that I know people are going to want and like if they come visit or we go see them or whatever, I can also give them maybe a vase, but we'll see. I don't know how attached I am I'm going to be to these vases because they're so pretty. I'm just obsessed. Okay, um, up next. Oh, I also found this cord. Um, this is like an apple cord um, to extend the... Um, like the charging cable for your laptop and... This is perfect because I want one of these. <laughs> so I don't have to use an actual extension cable thing anymore. I have this to actually extend my battery or my laptop thing, charging thing. So very excited about that. And then up next, um, oh, this is cool because I got this for my dad. Um, this is a pop socket mount and I have one of these for my car. And I actually got mine at the thrift. And then essentially, you have your pop socket, right? And then this pops into there and it just like stays. So it's fantastic. And then this has a like a sticker grip thing on the back of it. And you can just like put it wherever in your car. And yeah, this is only five bucks. I think these run for $10. So they're not like super expensive, but it's always great to save a little bit. And I actually also thrifted the actual like car mount one, but I don't like it. I feel like it's so big and bulky like this. I just like stick it to like my dashboard and like it's perfect. This is like all I need and I am obsessed. It's like the, literally the best like thing for the car that I've gotten. So I'm really, really happy with it. And I know dad will too. And I just got to get him one of these um, magnet pop sockets and everywhere I go, I think I'm just gonna have to order it online because I'm always like, oh, I'm just gonna go to Target and they're just gonna have it. I don't know, they're like always um, sold out or they don't have like just the plain black and I know dad's not gonna want like some crazy like colored marble looking one, like the one I got mom, which mom really likes, but dad's like, no, I just want like a plain black one and I'm like, I completely understand dad's not like into like, um, too decorative of like a phone thing. Like he doesn't even, he just wants the plain black pop socket thing too, which it comes with, which is perfect. Whereas I have like my little eyeball thing, which I'm obsessed. The evil eye thing, it's like my favorite. Okay, so I got that. Then, how about I got a Goodwill? Okay, um, then I got this piece. Sorry, like I'm trying to like see. Oh no, it's Charles and Keith. Charles and Keith, I was like, oh my gosh, what was this? I don't even remember. Um, this is a little Charles and Keith, um, like little tiny like evening bag. And it has like a tiny little handle right here, which is really, really cute. And you can just like carry it like in your arm like that if you wanted. But you can like go like this and like um, make it into 
like a cute little wristlet like that and then like it's completely closed off in the top and I think it's really really cute like isn't this is like a fun little bag so I was pretty excited to find this guy and as you know Charles and Keith is like vegan leather um, it just has yeah there's no pocket or anything inside it's just like all it's like the black and then it's like belted on the side kind of like as a decorative accent it does have a little smuts on the back but we can just clean that off I know that'll just come right off and honestly like it's kind of coming off with my nail but I just like would rather just like wipe it off with something else um then okay so I bought like a bunch of crystal today because I am crazy <coughs> over crystal as I, as I start breaking everything. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Um, this one was a really cool piece. And this is by um, Orifers. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's an Orifers piece. And it's really cool because it just has like a little sliver, like a very little blue at the very bottom of it. But then it just radiates and reflects through. So it like looks almost like holographic in a way. Like, I don't know, the effect of it just makes it look like it's literally glowing. And I really like it. And it looks so pretty, like on the table. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. Hold on, let me show you guys this. <laughs> like, look at like, I was like spinning it like this. Like, it's like mystifying. It's amazing. I love it. So this was $14.99. And it was a little, like, more expensive. But um, I found the piece online. And I guess this uh, particular item retailed for, I think, um, what was it? Like $400 or like three something. Oh, I already lost it. Oh, wait, did I take a screenshot? I was taking a screenshot. Of course I didn't take a screenshot. Oh, I did take a screenshot. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, um, it's the Mayflower Vase by Jan Johansson for Orifers. And this guy retailed for $389. So very, very cool. Um, I love it. It's gorgeous. I guess it also comes in like just like the regular like all glass But I think the regular glass one doesn't retail for as much or something But it's really really pretty and I'm really obsessed with it and I love it. I love that it's like still clear but it still has like a pop, a pop of color and I'm just like mesmerized staring at it right now. It just keeps spinning it. I have to stop. Okay, so I got that and then Oh my goodness gracious. I got this other piece. Um, and this one is a crystal like jar thing. Oh no, I didn't like the mess of the camera. No, okay. So this is like a crystal jar. Um, I believe this is Waterford, but it might be something else too. I forgot what it was. I was looking it up, but I'm pretty sure it is um, a Waterford crystal like jar and it's so pretty. It doesn't make any sound because like the way that the lid is on it and it's taped so it doesn't like It doesn't sound like that <laughs> I'm just like playing, you know like um, do you remember that movie Miss Congeniality and then Sandra Bullock she does her talent for the competition and she does that thing with like the different crystal glasses filled with water and she plays like a song by like making vibrations with their finger against the rim of the glasses. Like that's how I am right now with like my little crystal pieces. So um, this was only 10 bucks. So I was pretty excited about that. It's a really, really pretty um, jar too. I don't have any crystal jars and I was like, I need a crystal jar in my life. So this will be really fantastic. It's really heavy. And oh my gosh, I just bought a bunch of crystals today. I am crazy. I think in the past few days I bought like seven or eight crystal pieces. Um, but that's okay. We love that. Then up next, I got this aloe totes. Um, I feel like aloe totes are so cool. Everyone loves them. I resell a lot of these. Um, and I think I have another one somewhere. I don't remember where it was. Like I was using it, like actually just using it to um, carry stuff around because the bags are like huge and um, they just like fold up and you just keep them in the car. 
Um, this one was $8. I normally wouldn't spend that much on one of these bags, but I actually do kind of just like like them. So if no one ends up buying it, I can always just use it um, in my everyday life. I'll just like keep it inside the car. This is a great shopping bag. It was perfect for carrying around my crystal. So, I mean, anything for my crystal, right? So, pretty excited. Another aloe tote. And this one's in really, really good condition. So, very happy. Um, okay. Oh, then... Okay, this is like the last crystal piece for the day. And they did such a good job wrapping it up. So, I'm like, very thankful. But this one is really cool. This is a decanter, I believe is what it's called. And it's crystal. It's by a um, it's by a brand called Gorham um, Full Lead Crystal. So really pretty. I think yesterday I got another Gorham piece. And I think it was a vase. Yeah, I think it was. Oh no, was that or was that block crystal? I don't remember the brand. I think it was Gorham also. But I got a vase yesterday, and this one is going to be perfect for mom. She likes to make her own vanilla extract so like you know like when you go to the store you buy like the little bottle of vanilla mom likes to make her own and she's been making her own for years and the longer like the older your vanilla is like the more delicious i guess the taste is and she's had like um a thing of vanilla for like i feel like, like she's like almost 20 years probably maybe even more i think so and um she started to keep them inside these fancy like containers and every time i find like a really nice one i pick them up especially when they have the lids like the like the little toppers so mom's gonna be really excited because she's been asking me to find more of these and this was ten dollars so really pretty love it got that okay so then last two things oh my gosh this haul is really long Last two pieces I got are um, these two vintage Coach briefcase bags, which I'm really excited about. I'm always excited. They're they're both like a little different, right? I don't remember the names of these, but this one has like the handle that's connected with the hardware, and then it has um, a different like closure thing around the front. And whereas this one, it's like leather is connected to the top, and then the top like the connectors just like that. I think these are both made in USA. Yeah, this one's made in the United States. Looks like that on the interior has a little front pocket. I really love this color of the bag. I believe it's called British Tan, I think is the name. But this is my one of my favorite handbag colors is this color brown or tan or whatever. And this one, oh, so this one was 40, but it was 20 or it was 50% off. So this was only 20 bucks. And then this one was 60, but it was $30 half off. Love a sale. This is my first time there and I found two sale bags. That makes me very happy. Um, the inside, inside looks like this. So I love that this one has, like this one's more briefcasey for sure. It has like all sorts of apartments, two pen pockets, like maybe like a card, business card pocket or whatever. And then the interior, this one, ooh, I didn't even notice. This one is tray fancy because this one was actually made in Italy. I've never found one of these made in Italy. I've only ever found these made in China or made in USA. So this is a special treat. Very rare, made in Italy. I have to like pull this out so I can show you guys. Um, made in Italy, you see that on the Creed? I hope you are because this is kind of hard to get the camera to focus. But yeah, made in Italy. This is a coach bag. It is made of a completely natural glove tan cowhide. The scars, scratches, veins, and wrinkles are natural markings characteristic of full grain leather. Made in Italy. So Glove tanned leather. This one's gonna clean beautifully too. Like, um, especially like the black bags are so much easier to fix up and clean up from Coach because they're a lot easier to spruce up because they're black and you can just easily touch that up. Um, I wanna see what this one says. It's made of clean natural. Da, da, da. Yeah, it's exactly what it says on the other one except this one says made in the United States. 
So really cool, so excited. Um, I've only thrifted like a handful of coach bags that are made in Italy and never one of these giant briefcase bags. So I don't know, I'm excited. Let me know if you guys like vintage coach bags and if you guys have ever uh, thrifted uh, vintage coach made in Italy bags because that is very exciting. But that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys had fun going shopping with me today. I took you to all the stores that I went to and we even made um, some donations today at a thrift store. I don't remember. Um, yeah, I think I dropped them. I ended up dropping them all off at a Goodwill. So anyway, hope you guys had fun today. I love you guys so much. Tune in tomorrow for a new video at 7 a.m. The vlogs, um, the vlogs, the live sales are every Friday and Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and I'll see you guys all in the next video. All right, bye!